The Hyundai Ioniq 5 has just been revealed and it comes with a dazzling array of innovative features. In this bout, I'll pitch it against one of its rivals, the Volkswagen ID.4, which has been revealed just a few months ago. We'll compare the exteriors, interiors, tech features, performance and pricing and find out if Hyundai has delivered a knockout punch. Both Hyundai and Volkswagen are car industry heavyweights and the Ioniq 5 and the ID.4 are their best efforts at designing electric cars from the ground up. In round one, we'll take a look at the exteriors. Interestingly, these two represent different approaches to electric car design. In one corner, we have the ID.4, which is recognizable as a compact crossover. It has the smooth jelly bean styling that is so common with electric cars. The sinuous curved and rounded surfaces are sculpted by the wind for optimal aerodynamics. Played against these undulating surfaces is the crisp line of the roof. By making it two-toned, the mass of the roof is broken down and made visually lighter. The light clusters adopt the sinuous shape of the car and the waffle grille at the base is an attractive addition. In contrast, in the other corner, the Ionic 5, which looks more like a hatchback, adopts a different styling language, one that is derived from pure geometric forms. It's inspired by the original Hyundai, the Pony. There's heavy use of shapes like squares, rectangles, triangles, and sharp angled creases. The base has operable vents for cooling. I really like the resulting look. Not only does it evoke the Pony, but it also reminds me of European hatchbacks from the 80s, like the Fiat Ritmo and, ironically enough, the Volkswagen Golf. Despite their differences, both employ similar design cues like flush door handles, daytime running light signatures that extend across the entire front, and graphics at the base of the doors that denote the battery packs. Both manufacturers have done a great job with the exterior styling, but I find the Ionics design particularly refreshing. But the most revealing bit of information is not in the design, but rather in the numbers. The length, width and height numbers are similar, but the wheelbase of the Hyundai is a full 10 inches longer. And it's that longer wheelbase that takes us into round two, the interior. That stretched out wheelbase allows Hyundai to develop some innovative interior features. Aided with a completely flat floor, there's a center console that can move back in order to allow the rear passengers to use the wireless charger. The rear seats can slide back and forth and the front seats can be turned into these relaxing recliners with footrests. The design of the rest of the interior is very clean and minimalist. The infotainment is through a 12 inch touchscreen and the digital gauge cluster is also 12 inches. In the ID.4, the infotainment is also through a 12 inch touchscreen, but the digital cluster is separate and is attached to the steering column. The ID.4's interior is minimalist too. I really like the fun white accents. They're playful, something that's very typical of Volkswagen. Cargo space is comparable between the two. Seats in the ID.4 are covered in fabric with upgrades including leather at bolsters and micro fleece for the center sections. Volkswagen notes that materials are animal free but disappointingly doesn't go any further with sustainability. The Ionic 5 on the other hand comes in an array of sustainable seat coverings including those made from recycled PET bottles, natural wool yarns, plant-based yarns and eco-processed leather. Both offer features like ambient lighting and panoramic roofs. Both also offer augmented reality heads-up display, a system that can indicate where you should turn and provides additional safety information in your view. It's nice to see a feature that was previously only available in high-end cars be available at this price point too. One feature unique to the ID.4 is the ID light, which can indicate voice prompts, charging status, and navigation directions. But to that, Hyundai counter punches back in rapid fire with a number of its own unique tech features. There's a solar roof and autonomous driving that changes lanes for you and decelerates and curves. There's also vehicle to load capability that allows the driver to use the car as a power source. 
So going into the next round, the Ionic has a pretty impressive lead with interior and technology innovations. Can it maintain its lead with performance? Both the cars offer two sizes of battery, one in the 50s and the other in the 70s. Both also offer rear-wheel drive and eventually all-wheel drive options. Both also get towing capabilities. In the rear-wheel drive configurations, the Hyundai motors are more powerful than the ID.4s. In all-wheel drive configuration, the Hyundai offers two choices, with the more powerful motor matching that of the ID.4. As a result, with more powerful motors, the Ionic is faster than the ID.4. And speaking of faster, the Hyundai also comes with an 800 volt charging architecture, which allows the battery to be charged faster than the 400 volt architecture, which the ID.4 uses. But then there is the all important range. Hyundai has been coy about releasing details on the range, which makes me believe that it isn't perhaps as competitive as its rivals. The only one that they have released is that for the larger battery in rear wheel drive configuration. The comparable range for the ID.4 is about 10% more, but also with the larger battery. And I think that range may be the opening for the ID.4 to hit back, if it can maintain a price advantage that makes the ID.4 even more appealing. Pricing information is scarce on the Ionic 5, but we know two numbers from the German website. The first is that the base price of the Ionic is 41,900 euro. I assume that is for the rear wheel drive with the smaller battery pack. A comparable base ID.4 is priced a few thousand euro less. And to Volkswagen's advantage, there is even a less powerful version, priced even lower. The other pricing information we have is for the top of the line, limited edition Ionic Project 45, which is priced at 59,550 euro. This is all-wheel drive with the larger battery pack and is fully loaded with features like leather upholstery, relaxing seats that are heated and ventilated, and the solar roof. A fully loaded ID.4 prices out at about 55,410 euro. Keep in mind that this is the rear-wheel drive, so adding a few thousand euro for all-wheel drive brings it very close to the Ionic 5 Project 45. There's not enough pricing information to make a detailed analysis and reach a definitive conclusion, but at first glance, they are priced very competitively. The Ionic lands some solid punches on the ID.4, but none of them is a knockout punch. It has a number of innovative features, but I suspect that those might not matter to many customers. Once you remove those, the ID.4 has a strong fighting chance and its strength will be if it can compete on price and range. This fight is far from over, it's just begun. I'm excited to see it go on for many more rounds as more details emerge on both cars and discover who becomes the champion. Please give the video a like, share your comments below and subscribe to the driver download.